Hi, I'm uh, Craig Hawkins from Lamasip Winery in Swatland, South Africa. We're 45 minutes outside Cape Town. Our soils are predominantly uh, granite and uh, we produce a, a sera um, which we age under water for approximately one year. Um, the sera is what we do is we put it in the tank, these tanks next to me here. We put four barrels uh, in the tank, we fill the tank with water and uh, they are submerged for 11 months. Um, the whole idea, the, the, my whole thinking behind it was for to eliminate oxygen from the wine. So to get complete zero oxygen, I wanted to see what would happen. Firstly, you never have to top the barrels, and secondly, um, you get a very, very fine, elegant tan, which is the complete opposite of what I was thinking would happen. I was thinking you'd get productive and smelly, and eventually have to throw the wine away. But uh, I was pleasantly surprised, and after 11 months, and I bottled it because I thought it was ready to be bottled. Now uh, we have the same wine, which is our uh, in our lamb range, which is a, which is a Shiraz, which should be aged in big uh, concrete tanks and big wood barrels. And if you taste the two, you'll notice the clear difference. So I wanted to see that what happens, the difference between them. Um, every three weeks, I change the water, uh, and I taste the wine. Uh, the, there was zero sulfur added until the, the little bit of bottling because we do export the wine and I needed to, I was just, uh, not too much on sulfur. Uh, the, I don't add yeast, I don't add all of the other stuff. Um, so it's pretty much just that. I just press the grapes and go straight into the barrel and then I fill the barrel with the, the tank of water. It's a good call. <laughs> it's for our cellar foot range, which is, uh, which is a new wine. It's all about making something completely different. As the label said, it's based on a Monty Python joke and offer something completely different. Uh -huh. So it's very low in alcohol, it's only 12 and a half alcohol. It's very light color, almost like peanut. And uh, when you, you know, smell it there, it's confused to be European. I've had it blind as well, and I thought it was from another country, which is what we're striving to do. It's striving to make wines which are a lot more elegant and a bit more pure, a bit more focused, and we find that this, uh, this method works quite well. So ideas to make a lot more, you know, barrel, you know, put all the barrels in and just fill them in. 